Hello there, YouTube family. Welcome back for another episode of Rerun TV. Ever find yourself flipping through channels and stumbling upon the hilariously chaotic world of Martin Lawrence? Well, today, we're peeling back the curtain to give you an exclusive look behind the scenes of the iconic Martin TV show. So get ready for a roller coaster ride as we delve into the laughter, drama, and camaraderie that made Martin a television classic. Picture this. The 90s, a golden era of television, and in the midst of it all, emerges a sitcom that would etch itself into the hearts of millions, Martin. Starring the irrepressible Martin Lawrence, who was also executive producer and creator of the show. Martin ran for a whopping five seasons from 1992 to 1997. But what made it stand out from the rest? Well, buckle up because we're about to spill all the beans. Now let's take a closer look at the comedic genius that fueled the laughter factory of Martin. It wasn't just about the characters, it was the chemistry, the timing, and the sheer talent that turned the sitcom into a classic. So here's the breakdown of the main and supporting cast that made Martin the laugh riot we all know and love. Martin Lawrence played the role of Martin Payne, the comedic prowess who was the driving force behind the success of Martin. From his outrageous characters to his impeccable timing, Lawrence's ability to seamlessly switch between roles showcased his versatility and helped prove his status as a comedic legend. Other roles played by Martin Lawrence was Shanene Jenkins, a fan favorite character. Shanene's outrageous fashion sense and attitude made her an unforgettable part of the Martin universe. Jerome, the suave, charismatic old school player from the Himalayas, was another one of Martin's alter egos. His catchphrase, Jerome's in the house, became synonymous with the character. Also, Martin's role as Roscoe, the smart-mouthed, runny-nosed, 10-year-old boy, highlighted his ability to tackle a diverse range of comedic roles. Tisha Campbell portrayed Gina Waters, Martin's on-screen love interest. Tisha Campbell brought a perfect blend of charm and sass to her role as Gina Waters. Her chemistry with Martin Lawrence was undeniable, adding a touch of romance to the sitcom's comedic mix. Carl Anthony Payne took on the role of Cole Brown, the lovable, naive, yet endearing best friend of Martin Payne. Despite reported tensions off-screen with Martin Lawrence, Payne's portrayal of Cole became a fan favorite, contributing to the show's dynamic ensemble. Tachina Arnold's role as Pam James, Gina's sassy and quick-witted best friend, added a dose of reality to the sitcom. Her banter with Martin, often filled with hilarious insults, became a signature element of the show. Thomas Michael Ford, who is now deceased, played Tommy Strawn, one of Martin Payne's level-headed, intelligent but jobless best friend. His character's mysterious employment status became a running gag, and Ford's charismatic performance attracted him to fans. Other supporting cast members, who not only stole the scene, but also etched themselves into the hearts of fans, was Reginald Ballard, who played the role of Brother Man, the eccentric neighbor known for his unconventional living arrangements. His recurring appearances brought a quirky charm to the show, and Tracy Morgan, who portrayed Hustle Man, the neighborhood hustler, with an uncanny ability to turn anything into a side hustle. His character's eccentricity added an extra layer of humor to the series. This ensemble cast wasn't just a collection of actors, it was a family that brought a neighborhood to life, creating a sitcom that resonated with audiences for years to come. The magic was in the chemistry and the sheer talent that each cast member brought to the table, making Martin a timeless masterpiece in the world of television sitcoms. Now here's where things get complicated. Behind the scenes, things weren't always as jovial as they appeared on screen. Major tensions simmered between Martin Lawrence and Carl Anthony Payne, who played Cole. The two couldn't seem to get along on set, with reports suggesting that Payne felt demeaned and undermined by Martin. There were also whispers of Martin's alleged struggles with substance abuse. It added a layer of complexity to the behind-the-scenes dynamics, and fans began to wonder if the laughter was masking deeper issues. The drama doesn't stop there. In 1997, Tisha Campbell, who played Gina, filed a lawsuit against Martin Lawrence and the show's producers. She alleged both sexual and verbal assaults, claiming that the on-set environment had become toxic. 
Campbell also accused Lawrence of groping her during intimate scenes, to the point where she asked the writers not to add any more of those scenes to the show. The lawsuit sent shockwaves through Hollywood and had fans questioning the fate of their beloved show. They eventually settled the lawsuit and Campbell agreed to film for the final Martin episodes contingent that she and Lawrence would not share scenes. Moving forward, either Martin or Gina would exit the set before the other would enter. Despite the tumultuous legal storm, Martin continued its run, but the chemistry on screen felt strained. The show soldiered on, garnering praise and awards, including a People's Choice Award in 1993 and NAACP Awards in 1996, but the shadow of behind-the-scenes turmoil lingered. The show ended in its fifth season, in May 1997, which led to the belief that Martin Lawrence himself was canceled due to the lawsuit. However, in a 2020 interview, Lawrence clarified that he decided to leave the show and denied the allegations. Fast forward to 2022, three decades after the laughter echoed through our living rooms, the cast of Martin reunited for the first time. The reunion was a roller coaster of emotions as amends were made between Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell. The wounds of the past seemed to heal as they shared smiles and laughter once again. But the surprises didn't end there. Amends were also made between Martin and Carl Payne, burying the hatchet after years of reported turmoil. And there you have it, the lawsuit behind the scenes of the hit TV show, Martin, a sitcom that made us laugh, cry, and question what was happening in the background. If this journey through TV's golden era has you reminiscing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more stories like this. Let us know in the comments which sitcoms, films, or music you'd like to hear about. Share your favorite Martin memories. Until next time, keep those antennas tuned for more rerun TV.